So I mean, I did a, a whole different. I did I did shots in classes, outside of class, on the fields, and uh, in the in the lounge, in the senior lounge. I took I I shot some film, and we even got one of the vice principals or one of the guys or security guys, someone attached some kind of a tail or something to his tush. And because I remember people would remember that and I barely even noticed it when I was, maybe when I was shooting it I noticed it, but then I forgot about it. And when I was watching that video, I didn't, or the movie, I didn't really pay attention to that, but other people noticed it and remembered it. I used to play movies in the, in the photography class, like after, after I had that class, and like at lunchtime or something, and some you know some of the kids would come come around and say, hey, you know, let's watch some home movies, and and this would be mostly school stuff. So. Oh shit! Go for it. I think she was eating. That's why she had that look on her face. That's Steve Lanish back there? Could be. I mean, he was in, uh, this is winter Spanish class with me. And with me and Pat Curran and Vicky Miles and, uh, who else was in there? A bunch of other people. Really? I saw Pat's photo in the Questlands.com website. Oh, really? Yeah, he had to put his phone in there. He definitely was changed appearance while in high school. He had curly brown hair. Long curly brown hair. Back in high school. Yeah. Who's that? Well, Ken McCaffrey is on the left. You can slide for a second. I don't know who the girls are. I guess they're friends of this. I don't know who these guys are. Everybody had flannel shirts. Yeah, I'm guessing it was winter time. <laughs> oh, there's, uh... This guy, the That's yeah. right. God, this is the dining, this is the, uh, yeah. cafeteria. That was the cafeteria. The cafeteria. We had, like, junior high, so if you were a junior, you had to eat in the cafeteria, right? That is right. Yeah, Ken Cousin. Yeah. Look at those shoes. This must have been in the, uh, this was the senior lounge. Oh, it was. Look like John Holmes there. Now, Chul Cha, I didn't know, I had no idea who that was. Can you, he's one of the lost persons. How can yeah, we find... He, he, yeah, he grew up in Whitehall. How can we find Chul Cha? I don't know. I mean, maybe if his father's still alive, you could, you know, try and contact him. He, he taught karate, I think. 
Oh, there's Marcy. Uh, that was, I think that was in the Senior Lounge. Yeah, I think you're right. Oh, the tail. That's what John was referring to. Yeah. That's Ray Jacobs. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mickey's Magnet? Is it his Magnet? Breezeway. The Breezeway. You know what's funny? When I see people smoking now on film, I think, you know, they look, they look so cool even though what they're doing is dead. Like, yeah. I don't know. It was and, just... But I didn't think it was cool at the time. I didn't think it was anything. What's good or bad? I just, it was just people smoking, you know? Chul Chod. Did he have an accent? Barely. He was just about all American sound. The way he spoke. John White. Yeah. I think he was nervous. I don't know what Corona was. Ooh, cat fight. <laughs> I don't remember ever walking through the breezeway. I didn't walk through it too much uh, early on. It was mostly like, like in 12th grade, I walked through it a lot, but after that, you know. Tom Probion? I didn't know him, but. I don't know him really well, but. I don't know him really well, but. I don't know him really well, but. Todd, this is a, this is a masterpiece. <laughs> this is fun. This, I, I this, don't know who the guy is, but this this, is, this, this film <laughs> this film is a masterpiece. <coughs> yeah, this actually is one of the better films because people are behaving normally instead of you know well semi normal anyway. I love watching people make that on film. <laughs> That's a great one. <laughs> 